of shock. You don't postpone elections, you know, a few hours to the elections. So what's the, what's the next step now? What, what's, your, what's your initial... Well, I, uh, as you can see, I'm getting ready to go to Abuja because uh, there is an emergency meeting of the PDP. So we will meet and then decide and, uh, on our reaction to that. Are you jumping by this, uh, by this uh, development? One of the questions. Let me have a question at a time, please. Are you dumping by this? Uh, absolutely, absolutely not. Uh, absolutely not. Yeah, are you concerned about the fact that sensitive materials have already been deployed to the field? Well, as long as they are secured and they are in the right, uh, you know, uh, places, uh, there is no cause for alarm. Well, he, he, he was asking me, what will I tell Nigerians? I said, I'm appealing to Nigerians to please come out and vote. And I'm asking them to be patient about it. You're meeting with the stakeholders, you're going for what are we to expect? Well, whatever to expect, you will uh, hear from the stakeholders or from the Thank you very much. national Thank you. executive. What is smart, you know? <laughs> what did happen? What if you say that happened this morning when the news don't cast? What did happen? This is not the reason why we don't talk this night. <laughs> Everybody don't they see and say election don't they turn on you now. Now, hmm. <laughs> now the reason why we don't they tell people, G, Maso, hmm. wake up. Hmm. Wake up, Nigeria. Hmm. See, PDP, APC, none of them since see, for the last 20 years, uh -huh. nobody fit do election for one time. Made them talk, say, we go do election for this day, made them do election for that day. Now, wow. no fee, because they no fit keep them promise. Now, wow. Why? They no fit organize themselves. Now, wow. They no fit release the money. See the kind of way with all these legislators. We had made them give INEC their money quick, quick. They no give them. Now, wow. Now, all of us turn the suffer. You know the kind of people we don't travel. Because hmm. they say this thing go home. Hmm. They don't travel. People, we don't use their money. Don't travel. Some hmm. people leave them picking for house. Go stay for hotels. Some people go stay for other people who work. Now, wow. Eh? See, I, see, as then they treat young people. Yes. See, NYC coppers. They yes. sleep for ground. You know, G. G. O. G. Mas. G. G. Mas. G. G. Use. Shine your eye. Shine your eye. Shine your eye. A N N. Hmm. New Nigeria. Hmm. Elections go hold on time. We hmm. go use technology, make it easy for everybody. Confirm. Even diaspora go fit vote. Confirm. If we fit decide, say we want New Nigeria, make we go vote for New Nigeria. Alliance yeah. for New Nigeria. It the did. party with the logo of the lion. See ya. G O G Maso. Maso. Your Excellency, we understand you are not happy about this first coming of election. Why are you so disappointed? Yes, because um INEC has all got the time. It's, it is supposed to work according to their program. They were given all the resources, they had all the time, and they kept on telling us up to the last minute that they are ready. The fact that they are not ready, there is some inefficiency along the line. Thank you very much. tell your supporters nationwide? Well, they, they, they should be patient. Uh, let them come a week today and uh, go and, and vote again. I apologize for this inefficiency because it, uh, they have to use their own resources to go back to their uh, police units, wherever it is, at their own expense if they are all that committed. Postponement of the election. Being a participant, a candidate uh, for the post of uh, presidency on that grassroots development party of Nigeria. Well, it's rather unfortunate that uh, the elections were postponed and the timing of the postponement is what is even more worrisome because with regards to political parties, especially new entrants into the political system, uh, a lot of monies were wasted and this postponement creates a law because what they would have expected that it would dovetail into what you call the grand finale, which is the conduct of the elections itself. But now a law has been created. And that's not very good for the political parties. Secondly, the impact on the economy is much. It's much. A lot of people, a lot of civil servants travel from their different uh, workstations to the different localities where they will conduct their, uh, carry out their civic duties. Unfortunately, it has been postponed. Many people are in the quagmire now. Do they go back to their workstations or do they remain? They don't go back to their workstations, there are consequences. They remain, there's no money to go back. You see, these are all the things that have really, um, uh, you know, made the postponement a thing of concern. Now, it will appear that the electoral body uh, was not prepared to conduct the elections 
at the time that is stated. But longer... So we are here in Kiribo, one of the rural communities in SLO, the local government area of Ondo State. This is actually the domain of one of the presidential candidates in the Nigeria's election, talking about uh, Mr. Omoyele Shoure, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress. Now, it is no longer news that um, today's election have been postponed by the electoral umpire. What we have now is to talk to some of the stakeholders in today's election to know what the today's supposed election to feel their pause about the postponement. Now we have um, Mr. Shure right here. Mr. Shure, the election has been postponed and you are one of the stakeholders in the election. Now, what's uh, your reaction to the postponement of um, the presidential and national assembly elections? Uh, it's disappointment. I'm uh, very disappointed that uh, they took them four years to plan for this election and uh, uh, six hours before the elections were supposed to hold and everybody was already very uh, prepared for uh, the election they postponed and we haven't had any genuine reason yet as to the reason why this postponement happened and uh, what we know is that uh, the, the electoral empire actually said it's due to logistics reason That's well logistics is a broad area uh, it's a broad excuse what are the logistic reasons they've been telling us uh, be between the last uh, uh, four months that uh, everything had been taken care of logistically but i know that uh, this was uh, uh, a conspiracy at the highest levels by the ruling party because this is a repetition of history. You remember in 2015, they postponed the election as well because they couldn't guarantee that uh, they could win the election. But uh, it is my view that uh, this postponement will not delay their day of judgment. Thank you very much, Mr. Shure.